Hello, my name is uh, Mrs. Mersh Roberts. I'm in charge of um, the sixth form here. And my presentation this evening is all about the sixth form and what we offer students who join us in the sixth form um, after year 11. Now, one of the, the big things that we kind of pride ourselves on is very much our core beliefs and values of, of developing the whole person. Very early on in, in, the, in the year, um, regardless whether a student comes to us from somewhere else or from our, our current school, is we'll find out more about that student, about their aspirations, about their goals, about their likes and their dislikes, their, get them to um, try and have a look at and, and analyse their strengths and weaknesses so we can help them um, throughout their journey with us as well. And we can kind of help them overcome any obstacles they may have or any worries and fears um, that they may have over, um, over the time. So our programme of study um, generally looks as it is on this presentation. So all of our students will take three subjects, whether uh, that be a BTEC, A-level or a mixture of both. Um, so, um, students can certainly, but say for example, take two A-levels and one BTEC or two BTECs and three year levels. Um, this is everybody apart from those students who may want to study further maths, and that would be the only case where students would actually have a fourth year level. Um, we then expect students um, to have a designated of three independent learning lessons, um, which is timetabled and students register for every single week. In addition to this, we have our STEP programme. Um, if you're not from this school, our STEP programme is generally our tutor programme, where students on a Monday, Wednesday, Tuesday and Wednesday will um, have some time with their, with our tutor, uh, their STEP tutor. And we expect all students also to take part in one enrichment activity. We're very keen for students to have enrichment activity. So we're presenting ourselves as more well-rounded students as we go into um, the world as, as, and as we leave um, us um, after year 13. So our current curriculum looks as it is on the slide. Um, so these are the range of subjects that we do offer. Um, as I've said previously, we allow students to mix the BTEC and the A-levels together. And our current offer obviously is the three subjects as well. Now you'll find all of the course details for our curriculum in our course book, which hopefully you do have a copy of. And if not, they are it is on our school website. But if you get in contact, we can certainly send you a copy as well. Subject choices. Often this is one of the things that I get asked a lot um, during um, a normal open evening is how do we, how do I choose what to do? For some students, it is very um obvious and very clear as to what they need to choose because it might be that their future career actually tells them that they have to study certain subjects and um, one of the things I would say was definitely think about enjoyment think about what you've enjoyed um, in the past and um, you may want to continue but one of the things that I would say with this in particular is uh, make sure you actually research into that subject because what you enjoyed at GCSE might not necessarily what the be what the course is actually offering you at A level as well. So it's really, really important you actually look at our course book and look at the modules that each of the department has chosen. Because, for example, our history course will be very different to the history course that is offered, say, down the road at a different institution. The next thing that is important is to think about the learning style um, and whether the strength lies within exams, whether you're okay with exams, or whether um, it's coursework opportunities and whether the idea of having the opportunity to resit certain exams as well so for example that's what the BTEC would allow you to do so BTEC is a combination of um, coursework and exams and um, whereas your A levels um, your traditional A levels tend to be at the end of two years you will have um, those exams um, I've mentioned career aspirations course entry requirements are really important so in our course book you have the entry requirements certain subjects will have particular requirements um, or maybe it's one or two requirements, it's really, really important that you actually look at those as well. Our general entry requirements are five GCSEs are grade four or above in order to continue to study with us. Um, and sometimes some people want to try something new. So for example, politics, psychology, sociology, you're all something new. And we do have some subjects that actually you don't need to have studied a GCSE in order for you to study at A level or a B level as well. Um, we all do, one of our major entry requirements is that all of our students are expected to come to us with either a GCSE in English language or English literature. Um, the law actually um, states that all students must um, have an English 
and a maths uh, grade four or, or above. Um, what we do allow is we allow students that haven't got a grade four, may have a grade three in, in maths, uh, but they will be expected to reset that once they join us um, within the September. However, that may restrict some courses that you would be able to study. And again, they are our course entry requirements in our course book. We have a vast amount of pastoral support. Your pastoral support doesn't end just because you leave school. And those students who are currently with us will know that the school is very strong within the pastoral support that we have here. And that continues as, as they move into the sixth form. So we do have our own pastoral um, manager, Miss Surtees, who um, is in school every single day. And she's a non-teaching member of staff, which students can go to. We have a sixth form admin uh, for parents um, to immediately get in contact um, should they need any forms or any help with attendance, anything like that. And we also have a careers advisor who is just for the sixth form, three days a week, Carolyn, um, who is there on every single day, well, three days a week to actually sit and talk to students about their aspirations. Now, all of us, our students, when they do arrive, will have a um, an individual interview with Carolyn, who will then be able to tailor the opportunities we give them. Now, the other thing is obviously our step tutors. Our step tutors um, are really important to us as well. So this is the person your your um, child will get to know the most. And our step tutors are actually um, subject specialisms from the wide range of um, subjects that we do teach within the sixth form. So these are our step activities. Well, so during um, step time, it's really important that we cover the issues that will that students are affected by, um, such as um, general mental health, well-being, um, but also um, issues there that they may be affected by in the future or may deal with people who have these issues within the future as well. Um, as you can see, our um, our our step time. Um, is generally Monday and Tuesday and Wednesday. And then on a Thursday and Friday, we have subject intervention. Now, this is really important to us because if a student is identified as struggling or may have a need extra help, or sometimes the student themselves will say, well, actually, I, I feel like I need some extra help, say, for example, in maths. And what that happened, what that means is that on the afternoon, um, the student can actually go to the maths tutor, who's Mr. Boardman, to receive that extra help as well. So we're very much um, monitoring students as they're going along, identifying very early on in the stage whether they're coping, what extra help they may need, what extra skills. We have a wide range of opportunities available. Um, so internships, uh, there's a separate video on internships, a fantastic opportunity we have here at Framelgate um, Schools, which is really important to have a look at. Um, and it's something which um, is very bespoke to our school. But we also have a lot of activities that run um, throughout the year, so for example, first aid, six form buddies, council, uh, DOV, work experience, um, school guides, um, six form sport as well. We have a, a designated hour every once a fortnight for um, six form sports as well. Our career advice and guidance is something which we are very proud of. As I said earlier, Carolyn um, is on hand um, in the six form three days a week. Um, she certainly um, gives students a lot of opportunities to get involved in a wide range of things that they may be interested in. For example, from university for visits to apprenticeships um, to leave schemes as well. It's really important to us that not, not all of our students want to go to university. So we provide the range of um, activities and the range of experiences needed in order to be successful in whatever they go to post 18 courses. Um, our sixth form is a community um, and it's really important to us that our our students come and yeah, they, they are here to study and they're, they're here to get good results. But we are a community where we like to get involved in charity work, where we like to have a bit of fun, where um, we like to um, give students a wide range of enrichment activities and um, to take part in, whether it's a part of the National Doodle competition, um, to trips to Dalton Towers, to first aid, um, to trips to the beach if that's part of their coursework as well. Um, our new facilities, so they've been, um, we've had them over a year. We had a fully refurbished sixth form area. So this is um, the one of the part, one of the two parts of the sixth form area. So the sixth form have their own computer room, but they have this area which is here. Um, they also have um, a large um, silent study area as well, um, which um, they can use every single day as they wish. So why should um, 
students come and study here at sixth form. I think, as I mentioned earlier, the pastoral care is a huge thing because often students are frightened to leave school or are worried that they're not going to get the support that they're going to get um, if they go anywhere anywhere else. And because we know them really well, our pastoral care system um, just continues um, throughout the school. Our class sizes are small class sizes. That, again, is really important to us. A-levels and BTECs are very challenging, and we need students to feel comfortable uh, within their surroundings, that they can ask the questions, that they can go to staff, they know where staff are on a day-to-day -day basis. And if, for example, our a lot of students will opt for um, a subject, we'll certainly put on an additional class rather than um, putting more, more, more students within the one class. On structure, so for some students, um, they need the structure of the school day, that independence of going elsewhere or whether there's a bit more freedom. Um, they maybe don't have that self-discipline to kind of go to lessons and come and go as they please. And certainly within the school, um, one of the positives is the structure. The, the school day is the same. Um, you know, they kind of know where they stand in terms of lesson times and the, and the opportunities which they'll get as well. It is very familiar to a lot of our students as well, which is a big thing. And some of our students decide that maybe it's not a time to move on, um, certainly um, after year 11, but they will move on to the new things as they move as post 18. Um, a lot of opportunities that are available, whether that's just in the sixth form, but actually as a wider school. And we are certainly very much part of the wider school as well. So any opportunities that do come up, we will offer to other students um, within the sixth form as well. We offer a combination of um, vo vocational and A-level subjects, um, which will suit the student as well. We spend a lot of time with students talking them through um, these different combinations when they come for interview um, and having a look at what will suit them, what will not suit them, what they may need. What they may need. Um, and our indiv individualised um, programme of study for the next two years, that is something which is really important. It's not one size that fits all. Um, it's very much about the student and the opportunities that they need uh, in order to be successful or how we can adapt um, our the way we work in order to make sure that students are successful as well. So what happens next? If you are an external applicant, um, there is an application form that you can complete. If you are currently a student within school, um, you will receive an interview um, in February with a member of the senior leadership. And it's a progress interview which talks about your year 11 current progress and how you're doing in subjects. But it's during that interview that you will also get the opportunity to apply for the sixth form. So if you are within school, you do not need to complete an application form. It will be completed with you during that interview. If you are an external student, please complete an application form and send it in to us. And again, you will be invited to, um, to an interview around about February time.